We are recording. Okay, are we ready? We're ready. Ready, set. Ready, set, go. Call the meeting to order. The meeting is in order. Wait, who's the chair? <laughs> no. I am. That's why she called it. <laughs> Hello. Policy. Did you figure out what meeting you're in? Like Kelly, you know, over, <laughs> over exerting himself here. <laughs> just, you know, just yeah. <laughs> uh, so first up, we have 3630. Uh, we looked at this last year, last year, two years ago. Two years ago, I guess. Uh, we already have the template language option two that's in the. Um, that uh, was put out by MTSBA, but um, I thought we should look at it again because our language is a little bit different. So um, in here, um, our language says um, uh, before school begins and after school ends, but our language was um, upon arrival and until the end of the day. So I thought we should just make sure that that matches. Well, and I think didn't they both say? I know when the when we have them, I have to look on the other one that they can't even have them as school sponsored activities, which is ball games. Yeah, no, I think, I think we that was option we, three. We took that off as option three. Yeah, not have yeah. That. yeah. So our language is um, the same as the template option two. It says they, they cannot possess it at school sponsored activities. And option two? Yeah. On the one that you sent the email, which was the CSBA, and also on the one that's on our website. At least the, the one I have downloaded on my laptop. Oh. Which may be done. Oh, it's a, it's a privilege which will be permitted only under the circumstances described herein. But right above that, it says possession and use. Uh, but that's all talking about how it's a privilege. Oh, privilege. Okay. Well, you read better than I do. Yeah, yeah. women will be permitted in these circumstances. I know that. Your locker? So I think the first paragraph is probably fine of ours. Um. But then the first sentence of the second paragraph is what we need to update to match our language. And you had the wording that's in the um, handbook? So we're yeah. Match the handbook. Mm -hmm. okay. So the handbook says uh, students cannot have personal connected devices on their person on the school campus upon arrival until the end of the school day. So that could replace that first sentence. But then after that, at least on ours, it says they could use them at lunch. Well, yeah, lunch and passing period. That so that, that second sentence off. needs to be deleted. How's it been going so far? Good. Yeah, I think that um, the information was out, right? The the word had got out um, in whatever in, in whatever way. That this was going to be a thing. Kids came day one, knowing that you know they weren't going to be able to have them. Um, I think that we're starting to see more. I think there's a honeymoon phase probably um, of that. A little bit of sneaking. Uh, I think they're starting to sneak them a little bit more. Um, I know that Mandy had two. There were twins into into her today. Um, I don't know the situation um, specifically. Um, I don't think that it's. I think it's more kind of just poking out of the pocket still, um, not like just blatant use uh, of it. I think we'll probably run into that, um, you know, here here eventually, but poking out of the pocket or something like that and it needs to be addressed. I think on Friday we had uh, some subs that I think the kids were trying to see where the boundaries were with uh, the subs, um, and there was a handful. Do the subs know? The subs know. Well, yeah. Good, so they hopefully yeah. they got them too. Yeah. Yeah, so but all, all in all, and when you again, and we've told this story a lot, when we talk to the kids, they tell us that they actually like it, whether or not they may not admit it yeah, in front of their friends, but they right. yeah, it, in, it. individually they're actually and they'll say things like, Oh yeah, so one student lost their phone and they never even went that night and picked it up, and so they didn't even have it all night, you know. <laughs> and 
I got it there. And he didn't die? Yeah, I got it the next morning, and I was like, oh, yeah, I've heard, I've heard real good <laughs> there, so. How about teachers are good with it? Uh, yeah. And they're staying off theirs? Yeah. In front yeah. of the I, I've noticed it. it with my own use, that I am much more cognizant about being on my phone in the hallway. If I need to do something on my phone, I always step in. Um, out or you put it on space. block, so you block or I just put it on there. That's, that's, that's just you. Sorry, cannot be reached because yeah. he didn't want to talk to you. Yeah, that's his message. Yeah, so I, I think it's, um, I, I think it's working. Good. I'm very glad we did it, and I think we would have been sad. Well, yeah, because after we did it and had the meeting and everything, then the governor comes out with his statement and he's following us. All of the schools and whatnot, they're like, oh, we need to think about mm -hmm. this. So yeah. I'm glad we weren't trying to catch up there yeah. after school started. Um, so after that second, so deleting that second sentence, but then I think we're probably fine with the rest of Do you want to leave it where it says before school begins and after school ends, or do you want to mirror the language? I think it should be the same. Rival? That first sentence? Yeah. No, I think that first sentence should be completely replaced with what our handbook says. Yeah. I think that if it's not the same, somebody, They're they'll gonna, come back and yeah. say, well, it's not in the policy. What's in the handbook? Yeah, but mm -hmm. policy overrides the handbook. They'll yeah. say that, so it's got to be. So, Felicia, are you taking those, Felicia? So that's on page 27 of the middle school, high school handbook. It's, yeah, it's the first sentence okay. under that in order to maintain an educational environment free from distraction, students cannot have all the way up to the end of the school day. Okay. And then that second sentence is deleted. Which says what? Which students in grades 9 through 12. How about the language. next one? The devices must be kept out of sight. They're not supposed to be on the person. I'm on the Maybe I'm on the jolly at school's hand. Yeah, no, you that, are, but yeah. that shouldn't be there. These devices, because they say it was out of sight, it was in my pocket. Yeah. No, the handbook says you can't have it. Yeah, but it was out of sight. The policy says all it has to be is out of sight. I think we probably need to, just get rid of that one. I think that we need to be almost word for word get from rid the of handbook. That third sentence. These devices. Yeah. Consequences and that stuff, I think, sounds good, doesn't it? It's pretty, mm -hmm. this, pretty much the same. Mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah, I think the policy does a good job of saying at that point, it, so the trustees have allowed, classroom teachers have allowed the school administrators to confiscate the device and then, you know, administer disciplinary action if and when necessary. And then the handbook does the Jumps off from there with the specific, you know, first offense, second process. offense, but that doesn't need to be in the policy. Yep. So, yeah, I think at that point, then that looks good. Okay, are we good with 3630? Yes. So, then um, we're going to jump into the 6000 series. I started looking at these, and uh, comparing them against the model policies. Um, so the first one, 6,000 goal, um, ours is the same as um, model, and we <coughs> reviewed it um, not all that long ago, um, yep. 2022. So I think um, if everybody's in agreement, we can mark it as reviewed. Where's the best place to find that? Mm -hmm. I go to the website. Mm -hmm. uh, middle school, high school. Kelly, no. I will email it to you. Because I have it downloaded on my oh. laptop, but I don't think that may not be the most current. It might, it not, be. Be. It might not be. And then oh. I don't change. Yeah. So just go to the school it's website the, it's the, under district it's information. Yeah, it is, and then over on the left hand so side, is, it'll say so I should be okay. Manual. I think you'll be okay. So I just took the PDF and downloaded it yeah. so I could find it. Yeah. Okay. Students, staff, and So it's under district. District information, roll pan, push pan. 
Then under school board, there is the pop up Got district it. policy yep. manual. And then the policy manual. Thanks. Yep. I just emailed it to you, too. Oh, thanks. So I cut out the the whole 6,000 series out of the model policies and out of our series. So I emailed everybody at the table. Sweet. <clears throat> I found with our policies, I was able to like extract like a full series as well. Yeah, you can like print it as a print out oh, the PDF yeah. oh. and everything. Oh, yeah. it's great! You just click six thousand and click the little print, and yeah. it generates a PDF. And oh, just six thousand. Yeah, oh, sweet. Yeah. Handy. All right, tell us what you need. Okay, so six thousand. <clears throat> um, like I said, it was reviewed two years ago. It's the same as our as the model as the MPCA's model. So my recommendation would be to keep it as is and just mark it as reviewed with a new date of today. Does that and does that have to do the readings too? If it's the same, you just mark it as reviewed. Yeah. As long as we don't change anything, right? Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, Sixty one ten, the superintendent. Um, that one, which I don't know why, but because we reviewed a lot of these other ones, but it was it hasn't been reviewed since. 2013. Um, so there is some difference there. So we need to look at that one. And it is a required policy. Is there a lot of differences? Um, yeah, there's there's enough. I would say that that uh, certification piece and that endorsement is probably meant as a flexibility for smaller schools, you know, that are working with the, perhaps an administrator that's working towards his or her um, appropriate license. Under that internship program. Which I kind of feel like didn't we have that discussion? Because I was working under that. Yeah. Or was that with our principals? <clears throat> it might have only been for our principals. I don't remember, been. but okay. that's the funny thing with this. Like, I I thought we had reviewed. I thought it was kind of weird that we hadn't reviewed this policy. Like we reviewed the 6110P in 2020. Mm -hmm. So it takes out the bit on when the position becomes vacant. The board will conduct a search to find the most capable person. That does not appear in the new model. And the new model references administrative rules. Cool. Within the text, mm -hmm. not just in the sites.
Yeah, so they added in that administrative work year piece mm -hmm. and then redid that qualifications and appointment section. The evaluation was the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah, duties and authority, evaluations, and compensation and benefits should be the same. updated the model. I think so. Um, I don't understand that last um, sentence under administrative work year. It's in parentheses. I would, I would have a question about that too. Yeah. Does that need to be brought to the board? Well, you have vacation. Mm -hmm. Like, we're not dictating if you take a day here and there. Mm -hmm. okay. <clears throat> or is it talking about like larger chunks? I wonder if it's talking about like maybe a leave of absence or something. Yeah. Like a month, two months, three. But it doesn't read like that. Because you, know, you wouldn't take that out if you're having a sick day. Just take that one off. Yeah. Because it doesn't define necessarily with sick, uh -huh. sick leave. You know, there's not going to be a lot of time to approve. Well, can I ask? When you decide to go, you always let us know. Yeah. You say it's my calendar, but it's not like then the board votes on it whether we're going to let you, mm -hmm. you know, go on your anniversary. We just don't. So I just think that that bracket thing, they could just be removed, isn't it? I think so. I'm fine. And then it also, the sentence it. before that, though, it says the superintendent will have vacation periods as approved by the Board of Trustees. Like, we're not approving each this one. vacation. We're not approving each one. I think we're fine. But I, think, I, think, I think those are approved by the contract. Yeah. Right? When you, when you vote up or down on the contract. No definition of what it is. Be different if it was an extended vacation. Mm -hmm. but well, I think if it was, then you would probably come and say, you know, I have this, and talk to us about it. I mean, that's... So administrative work here, should we only leave it as that first sentence? I would, I think first two probably. Mm -hmm. But then are we, do we need to reword that second sentence? Because like no, the way we approve that in the contract. But it doesn't say that. It just says that the superintendent will have vacation periods as approved by the Board of Trustees. Well, we approved it when we hired him and signed the contract, is what I would say. The contract says, and we all approved the contract. As approved by the Board of Trustees. As a, maybe as approved by the contract between the board of trustees and the superintendent. I mean, when I think we it, approve a contract, we're saying you get this many days. Yeah. Appointment contract period. Yeah. Is it should it read May have? Is that the the feeling on it? Well, but even still, like the way I read that is that we're approving any vacation time that you're taking. Mm -hmm. Not through the contract, but like individual <clears throat> vacation periods. Mm -hmm. And I don't, that's not I see necessary. what you're saying, I guess. I, I read it as, we approved in the contract, you get this many vacations. So we did approve it. When he takes them, we don't, we don't dictate. Well, if his vacation is regulated by Montana State, State law. law, you accrue that vacation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As approved by the Board of Trustees within the employment con employment agreement. I'd be okay with that. Yeah, yeah. 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 
Okay, are we cool with that one? Yeah. Okay, so moving on to 6110P1. Um, we did look at this again in 2022, and ours is the same as the model. And on mine, P1. Oh, yeah. It's not? Well, when that's the charts. Yeah. Well, the two that you sent me, I have them both open, and it doesn't look the same. Well, the formatting's a little different. Yeah, the formatting's different. I thought I read through them. No, well, it's... The wording's different. They're Which different. one? Well, on the on the model, uh -huh. the fifth one, adopt annual... The one that says authorize the allocation of certified and classified staff with a whole bunch of stuff under superintendent. I don't see that one. There's a set down. Do I just yeah. have yeah. Yeah. Go go the formatting's wonky? So it is. It's like, yeah. well, maybe they are all the same, but it's like, oh man. If you checked it, it's okay. I wish the model policies had, like, when they were revised. So they're all they're okay, so we can mark that one as okay. I think yeah, I think so. I was thrown off by the formatting too, so I went back and um I went back and looked a little bit more, but I think they're the same. So at the bottom of the model, it says no to copy of the superintendent's evaluation tool and job description may be included. We don't, we don't have that. We don't do that. And ours lists all the. Am I reading that wrong? It lists all the codes. Yeah, and I think and that's just the what the way. That's um, about assembly. That's about the management system. Yeah. So we could just we're good yeah. then. Yeah, I think that putting the evaluation tool in there based upon our tool, because it is tied to the strategic plan, which our strategic plan doesn't require, you know, two readings well, to change in the policy. Document. Yeah. yeah. And I think that kind of just is. Yeah, I didn't think it was more. necessary. Yeah. Uh, so 6121. Um, district organization. We did a, the last review we have on that is 2013, we but. We reviewed that one too, or did we just go ahead and do 6121P? I think so, oh, okay. yeah. All right, got it. Um, but it is the same as the model. Okay. I'm not seeing dates, and I'm missing something. Dates on. Uh, They're at the very top. Ours. So go up a little bit. It's pretty tiny, but right there. Oh, so okay, it's at the top it, and then read it on. Yeah. Come on, right. Sometimes they're at the bottom and this one's top. Okay, thank you. One of these magnifying glasses. But this one wasn't last reviewed in 2013. Mm -hmm. How about the chart that's on the next page? Is that accurate? Yes. The chart was done on June in June of twenty two. So we can we can it doesn't have the full chart though. Man. I think it's do? a it looks like a weird printing. Yeah, it got cut off, it looks like. So can we can we say as reviewed the one above that's two thousand thirteen like and the chart and they're both okay? Yeah, we'll just change the review date on sixty one twenty one. And that's today. good enough. We didn't change anything. Yeah, we didn't change anything. No, it's that's updated. And we haven't changed anything with the chart, right? No, we're changing one. Yeah, the most recent change was, you know, adding in K-5 principal. Mm -hmm. Is that position listed as testing coordinator too? 
Would you have to tell your name? I don't know that that's, that's on. Just duty. Yeah, that's just, just duty. duty. That's not a position. Yeah. Well, then 6122, uh, delegation of authority. Again, we reviewed it in 22. Um, it is the same as model. So I'm trying to take that fly. <laughs> Um, 6140, duties and qualifications of administrative staff other than the superintendent. Um, <clears throat> it is also the same as model, even though we haven't reviewed it since 2019. Mm. Well, it's good to have these review dates updated. I think so. That's yeah. Good. And the administrative rules stayed the same, so that's good. Makes it easy when we have a whole bunch that we can just go through. Mm -hmm. We reviewed all these, they're good. Mm -hmm. Which it's important we do that. Yeah, that's good. Uh, 6141 employment restrictions for administrative personnel. Um, the, a little different. The first, um, that first sentence or first paragraph is different. Um, just the end of it there. So the very end of ours says lecturing, etc. And on the model it says lecturing and other related employment. I don't think the meaning has changed. I wouldn't have to go through two readings to change that word. Yeah. But the title is also a little different, huh? Employment and Association Restrictions yeah. versus Restrictions for Administrative Personnel. I like our title better than theirs. Association doesn't really fit because it's just talking about approval by administrators. Mm -hmm. Ours is Administrative Personnel, I think it fits better. Mm -hmm. It's just quite fit. Hours the way it is. I would like to. I don't like etc. Where we have you know consulting, college teaching, lecturing, etc. That doesn't clarify or define anything. I don't think that helps. I think that hurts. Well, the other one says or other related. Or related. related. I, I like that one better. It reads better, but then we have to go through two readings for mm -hmm. that one. I guess we can. Mm -hmm. It's a simple change. Means the same thing. I guess, etc. It could leave the door open for. But it still has a right to approve or disapprove. Etc. <laughs> Put a no. gray box. What do you mean, etc.? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, 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 anything I want. <laughs> well, that's good because if we change that, then it has to be related. I, I would think so. To what? I it doesn't say. It. it didn't say what it has to or be. Or other related. related. Okay, so change it to I and would. other related employment, I get rid of the etc. I think so. Do we keep our title, employment restrictions for administrative personnel? I would. I, I don't have an opinion on that, really. So it's other related employment. So what that's saying in that second one is any of your administrators, if they want to go to get paid to do something, mm -hmm. I think ours makes more sense than the model. Mm -hmm. It's more specific as to what reason is. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Got that? Oh, you just... See if they allow us to keep our current title on their policy. 
these things. They don't like that? They don't like that? Oh, they don't like a number of our one of our policies. We just adopted. Oh, really? Which one? Forty-three eleven. They put it under forty-three ten. Oh, I saw your email. Yeah, I thought if you wanted to pick that fight, I'll let you. They, pick it. the ones that we had help with from other school districts. Yeah, you know, uh -huh. base those as a model. They, they didn't necessarily. He didn't like, like the fact that they were MTSB <laughs> model policies. Well, that's well, because they were I'm sorry. They that's that's right. Right. Yeah. 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 yeah, exactly. There was no. Yeah. So the the content of forty three eleven, it was the exact content is in, but it's number forty three ten p. Yeah. So whatever. Yeah. At least at least the wording is in there, and so. Yeah, I could understand like. What's happening? <laughs> but then, like, his last email was like, oh, well, it's not. He makes it not a big deal. I'm like, well, it kind of is because that's what I would approve, but whatever. As long as the wording is in there, yeah. that's the important part. That's kind of what I thought. Like, the number doesn't matter so much. Yeah. Uh, 4210 principles. Um, ours is the same as the model, even though it hasn't been updated. Oh, mm -hmm. it's good. It's reviewed. Mm -hmm. yeah. Did you look at um, that administrative rules on the evaluation of them? I might just do that as a sidebar and I'll make sure we're doing it. How we review a policy? How we review? <coughs> principles review. Evaluate. No, principles will be evaluated oh. in accordance with. Oh, I see. Just to make sure that our process is there. They fall under teachers from an evaluation standpoint. They fall under teachers for tenure purposes. <clears throat> at, least, at least once annually, so we're good. Okay. So evaluation of administrative staff sixty four ten. What? What? What's your question? I was on my phone that I wasn't supposed to be on. No question. <laughs> 6410. We're moving on. 6410. Oh, here's where we have. I already finished that policy. Me too. I already. 6410 is the same. Yeah. 6420 is the same. Keep going. My recommendation is to mark them as reviewed. I second. 6410 and 6420. 20. 6420 is not on the very bottom of both. Last, last page of both. 6420 were reviewed in 22. I kind of quit after 6420. So if we should just, since I can pull it up real quick, what are we bringing for our first reading? We are bringing 6110 and 6141. 6110 and 6141. Along with 36.30.
we keep going? Thanks. Your call. Or since it wasn't on the agenda, we stop. Seven thousand would be our next order of business. We should probably stop. Yeah. yeah. So is there homework? Amanda. Um. She does. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I like it when when the girl in the class does my homework. <laughs> I think it's done correctly. I'll um. I'll extract. Uh, like I did for the six thousand, and I'll email it to everybody yeah. before our next meeting. Okay. Um, the one thing that I have a question on. Um, so in the model policies, there's policy seventy two twenty, Title One supplements. Uh, we don't have that policy. And it's a required policy, but I don't know. Is it somewhere else? Is it for a Title I school, which we are not? Oh, maybe. Yeah, we are not a true Title I school. This would be those 40%. It's like, exceeding 40 yeah, Bromberg is a Title I school. Um, Some of Laurel is, I know. So, yeah, it's, um, so it's under, different. so 7,000 financial management. Yeah, but it would be a school-wide. So even in our, in, in our title grant, like when I do, um, expenditure requests for like um, our ESSER funds, we have to indicate whether we're Title I school-wide or targeted, and we are targeted. And to Which be a school-wide, it, it takes over a year of lots of meetings to become school-wide. Um, you if, can't if, just do it. If you, if you want to be... If you want to switch right? over. If you want to do it without right? exceeding yes. the 40%. No, we, yeah. we do need this. It's talking about use of Title I funds. Which we do anyway. It's basically the, the supplement versus the plan. It just basically sets out. Oh, okay. This is how you use Title One funds. We can adopt that. We're already doing it. So, okay. yeah. Again, it would be nice to know when they put that policy that. in. Yeah. So that would be that revision day. <laughs> if they have that. Can you put that on Chris Goss? I'm sure he would love that. Uh, well, <laughs> I will. Going forward, like, come on, it would be nice. It would be helpful, especially you know, as we're going through, it's like, when did that get at it? Yeah, you know, how and I thought we, we really just relate to the party or where did this come from? And you yeah. would think they would include that when they do their policy update emails. We've added this model policy, mm -hmm. but I don't, I don't know. So yeah. we don't know how old that policy is, or why. It's not in ours currently, mm -hmm. even though we're we're following all those guidelines for the federal grants. So, okay, I guess we will adjourn then for today. Thank you. <laughs>